Good morning guys. Check out that new Rodders file hat. Go over to Kenny's channel and subscribe. My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be hopefully finishing up this quad right here, right after we read our daily devotional, which is day by day devotions for dads to uh by JP. Today's lock the door, douse the lights. Be kind to your mother-in-law, and if necessary, pray for her board. Pray for her board at some good hotel. Josh Billings, 1818 to 1885. I guess that's when that was said. <laughs> There's a kernel of truth in those mother-in-law jokes. Your bride's mother has opinions and suggestions on how you and her daughter should be raising your family. She may keep those ideas to herself or share them abrasively. Her ideas might be wise and wonderful, or she may be clueless. In any case, you may have to plan, may have a plan, when your efforts to build a healthy, independent family are threatened because your bride's mom insists on sticking her nose into your family business. However, newsflash, <laughs> your family is not independent. Newsflash number two, <laughs> your family is your mother-in-law's business. Extended families should, be, should expect to be in, interdependent, interdependent. It, they got that italicized, so that's why it's kind of a little weird. You should actually want your mother-in-law to sweep into your lives occasionally with... I lost my place. With gifts, baked goods, photos, house, housekeeping hints, child-raising expertise, and stories from when your bride was a little girl. Yes, but what if there is evil intent? What if the old bag is doing damage to the health and sanity of your family? What if she must be stopped? As you do in all things, you and your bride need to unite. Pull your wisdom and experience and together decide how to handle this threat to the well-being of your family. But probably your mother-in-law is not that bad. So unlock the door. <laughs> Force a smile. Look Look for the good and let your wife take most of the lead in how you handle her mom. What about you? In Matthew 18, 14, 8, Matthew 8, 14 and 15, Jesus healed Peter's, Peter's mother-in-law. So there must be something worth salvaging about your bride's mom. day by day devotion you guys get this book down in the description below check it out and let's roll that intro and dive into some carburetor work So we're doing this with leaving the plastics on this time. I do have a video on how to remove the plastics and the carburetor in case you need that. Um, so what ended up happening is, here's my original one. This is the same one as this one, but I accidentally ordered a bigger one that was not the right one. And so that's the one that I ended up putting on there and I couldn't get this to fit. So I tried to customize it and it was not cutting it. So I just went ahead and gave in and ordered a new one that was the same size as that guy. So if you have this same quad, 2004, shoot, I forget now, 2004, 2005, Suzuki Quad Sport. This is the LTZ 250. Um, beware that there are two different size carburetors that fit these quads. Make sure you get the right one. So then you don't end up in the predicament that I do where I've got three of them now. <laughs> All right, so now I've got the new one back in there. The only thing that's not on is this cover that goes on where the throttle cable comes in. I'm gonna leave that off temporarily just to make sure I can get this puppy running. Once I do, I'll go ahead and put that cover on and then eventually we're gonna figure out how to wire this light up 
and I do have one more thing that I can go put on this right now, which is the ignition switch and a key. I'm so excited about that. What's up guys? We interrupt this vlog because it is mail time. We just got this package and I can't wait to open it and show you guys what's inside. But first, before we do, Kenny, thank you so much, brothers. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's find out what's inside. Whew, you can still smell the pint. I like it. I like this idea of painting the box. Whew. All right, you ready? I were told don't use a knife, so I didn't use a knife. All right. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. Hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh. <laughs> Man, he sent us some mini cards. These are like Euro cards that come from overseas, Hot Wheels. Oh, we got some to add in. Kenny, thank you so much, man. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. A little shopping cart. Kenny is Rotter Files on YouTube. Guys, go over to his channel and subscribe. Check that out. Hold on, don't tip it too far. That is sweet. <laughs> Thank you for holding the GoPro, Audi. These are awesome. Don't turn that box around because our address is on it. I don't want them showing. Man, that is so cool. These are awesome. Thank you, Kenny. Now we got some short cards to put. That's what they're called, short cards. Put some short cards with our collection. And I get to wear this awesome Rotter File hat. Guys, go over to Kenny's YouTube channel, Rotter Files, and subscribe. And let him know that we sent you. I'm gonna open this thing up. I wanna show you guys this because it's super cool. Can you pull that part open? So, here we go. This is what I wanna show you guys. Look, that is Kenny's bug in cartoon form. That is so cool. I can't wait to go wear this out and show it, show it off. Man, I, I'm excited. We're gonna add these into the collection. Speaking of our Hot Wheel collection, guys, we're just over like 700 Hot Wheels, so oof, this is gonna push us a little closer to a thousand. Thanks again, Kenny. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, I ended up getting the light on the four wheeler fixed, but I had to cover it up because <laughs> we had a little storm roll in, and I was worried that is gonna pour and rain. And so I was like, ah, I gotta get this done. And now it's bright again. You know, Kansas, Kansas weather. Anyhow, I'm gonna move over to the Jeep now, do some more work on this, which I'm not gonna be showing in the vlog, but you know what, I guess I could. The problem that we have with the Jeep is one, it needs a master cylinder. So we got that ordered. It also needs a wheel bearing in the rear because that one on that side is just greasing out like a seal completely bad and then also on the inside here well the heat is the only thing that works the air conditioning does not work and uh, Jessica remembers that something was done to it but she doesn't quite remember what so we're gonna figure that out but also another problem is that the speed on the fan all it works on is high so I bought a new resistor and that will hopefully solve that problem. So we'll have one of those coming soon. And looky right there, that's the place to go, Rock Auto guys. That save you a ton of money. Gets you all the parts you need for your vehicles. Anyhow, I'm going to see what I can figure out about this heat only, no air conditioning issue. So I guess I'm gonna just dive right on in, which first what I'm gonna do is turn this puppy on, get it running. And then we're going to turn it on to AC. And we're going to watch the blend doors. So up in there. See if those actuators are working correctly. Check the passenger side too. See if there's any over there. And well, we should find something eventually, right? <laughs> Alright, so now we've got the fan speed on high. And if I turn it down, it's off, right? It's just completely off all the way. Crank it on high. Bam, it's back. And now it's actually blowing cold air, which is really cool. And all that I did was I took 
this guy, it's really hard to see, but this guy right here, I took it off. And if we watch it, as I turn this to hot, hopefully it'll show. You can see it turning. And then, if I feel the air again, it, it's heating up. So it's definitely doing it now. That's all that we had to do. That is awesome. And then another thing, like if you're having issues with it going to just your feet or not going to defrost or stuck on defrost, watch this white little bar right there. And that, if it doesn't move, it's kind of hard to see, but you guys can see it moving there. That is how you tell if your actuator door, which is up there, is no good, is broken, not working, which ours is because that is moving. So I think that Miss Ruby here is all set and now it's sprinkling again. <laughs> Man, I love Kansas. This is gonna be like this in Florida. I can't wait to get there. Anyhow, if you all enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, if you just enjoy the content, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Head over to arcticvet.com. Check out our new website, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, and we'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night, a blessed day, and we'll see you later. God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got a fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die